Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson where we will learn about AWS CloudWatch. Let's start with what is Amazon CloudWatch. When using the AWS services, you might be interested in looking at the services usage while tracking the resources and the applications you run on AWS. AWS CloudWatch is the answer for all this. It allows you to monitor your AWS resources and the applications that you run on AWS in real time. You can use CloudWatch to collect and track metrics, which are variables you can measure for your resources and applications. So with the help of CloudWatch, you can collect and track metrics. CloudWatch enables real-time monitoring of AWS resources, such as Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud Instances, Amazon Elastic Block Store Volumes, Elastic Load Balancing, and Amazon Relational Database Service Instances. Users can access CloudWatch functions through an application programming interface, command line tools, and one of the AWS software development kits or the AWS Management Console. Here are the four stages of Amazon CloudWatch that a user can perform to completely visualize the cloud resources and applications running within the AWS cloud and perform an action on the monitoring data. The first step is where the data from all the AWS resources that you want to visualize is collected. So this is in the form of metrics and logs. And these resources can be your applications or any services running on the AWS and on-premises servers. Then the next step is to monitor the selected resources that you are interested in. This involves the visualization of applications and the infrastructure with CloudWatch dashboards. You can correlate logs and metrics side by side to troubleshoot and set alerts and alarms with CloudWatch alarms. This brings us to the act stage, where you automate the responses based on certain thresholds for the resources. This step helps you perform operations based on the data monitored in the first step. You create alarms based on metric value thresholds you specify or alarms that can watch for anomalous metric behavior based on machine learning algorithms. For example, set up automated actions to notify you if an alarm is triggered and automatically start auto-scaling to help reduce mean time to resolution. You can also deep dive and analyze your metrics, logs, and traces to better understand how to improve application performance. So this is how the overall stages of CloudWatch works in AWS. Let's move on to next to see what are the services that can be monitored using CloudWatch. As discussed previously, here is a bit more detail to the services within each category that the CloudWatch can monitor. So when talking about the compute services, one can monitor the EC2 instances, the auto-scaling group details, elastic load balancers residing, do the health checks for the Route 53, and monitor the Lambda functions as well. Moving on to the storage and the content delivery, you can monitor the EBS volumes, storage gateways, and the CloudFront. The services for database and analytics is much self-explanatory and you can see that monitoring of DynamoDB tables, elastic cache nodes, the instances running for relational databases, Redshift data warehousing, and elastic MapReduce can be performed. Then we have some other services where with the help of CloudWatch you can monitor the simple notification service topics, look at the simple queue service, monitor the API gateways, and the estimated gateway charges. So this is it for the session on what is CloudWatch. In our upcoming session, we will deep dive into working of the AWS CloudWatch.